Hi there, this is Crystal. I'm going to show you how to add captions to figures and then create a table of figures in your Word document. I'm using Word 2013. This works the same way in 2007 and 2010. I just got a Word document from my friend Pat Wood who is explaining to me how to use Windows Azure to store databases. So I would like to label the figures. I click on the first figure and under references choose insert caption and this allows me to label my picture. I can choose whether it's a figure, in this case it is a figure, but it might be a table or an equation or something else. I'll choose figure and figure one will be the Windows Azure portal. I would like my caption to go above the selected item so then I click OK. There it labels my figure for me. The next figure will be the name of the database. Once again, I click on the figure and choose Insert Caption, and I'll label it Databases. Now I have a figure of the dashboard, so I'll click on the figure itself, get the selection handles around it, and choose Insert Caption, and this will be Dashboard. And let me also type a space before that, and OK. As you can see, the figure number goes above, as well as the explanation. Now I can come down and see the database URL, which is very important. In this case, it's been blurred. In your case, it won't be. I'll choose Insert Caption, and I'll put URL to Azure database and I accidentally pressed enter while I was in there dumb laptop keyboard so I'll just paste the rest of the caption on that same line come down a little further and here we need to enter the username and password so once again I'll click on the figure choose insert caption and then space enter username and password okay come down a little further and finally the database portal opens and you can work on your Azure database. So once again I'll label this figure. Portal opens. Now I'm going to come down to the very bottom and let's assume this is a long document with lots of other things. I press Control Enter to make a page break just so that you can see that. I'll show the non-printing characters. Right now what I like to do is under References go to Insert Table of Figures and I'll just take the default layout and there we are. And I'll just go ahead and turn those non-printing characters off so it's easier to see. So that is how you caption figures and then insert a table of figures.